Busakasaka, well, today I wanted to talk about our cousins in Hawaii. But before I do, I want to make sure that anyone who is pro statehood for Puerto Rico pays especially close attention. What's happening? Oahu residents in Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam area are finding chemical contaminants and smelling a fuel like odor in their drinking water. Those who recently drank or came in contact with the water are becoming physically ill with rashes, sore throats, mouth sore, stomach aches, headaches, nausea, and vomiting. What is the Navy doing? The U.S. Navy is denying gaslighting and downplaying community members who have come forward with evidence of the problem. The commander of the naval base said, quote, there are no immediate indications that the water is not safe, end quote, and the Navy stated they've, quote, not detected petroleum constituents in initial testing, end quote. However, they have sent water samples to an independent testing lab in California and, quote, more quantifiable contaminant-specific results are expected by the end of the week, end quote. Whose water is affected? So far, the contamination has only spread to residents using the Navy water system, Aliamanu Military Reservation, Military Housing, Red Hill, and Nimitz Elementary Schools. But keep in mind, this was in December 2021, and they're still having issues. Local families in the area are scrambling to buy bottled water for drinking, cooking, dishwashing, bathing, laundry, brushing teeth, feeding pets, etc., etc. Schools have closed off bathroom sinks, water fountains, and adjusted cafeteria menus to cook and prep without water. Where is the fuel from? There is public speculation that the water pollution is related to the ongoing fuel leaks at the Navy's Red Hill fuel storage. A little more about Red Hill fuel leaks is that during World War II, the U.S. Navy built 20 underground fuel tanks, 25 stories high, on top of an aquifer in Red Hill that supplies clean water to 25% of Oahu. The tanks have been poorly maintained by the U.S. Navy and are now corroding and leaking into our water sources. Just a week ago, there was a 14,000 gallon leak of fuel and water at the Red Hill facility. So what can you do? One, put pressure on the U.S. Navy to shut down and move the Red Hill fuel tanks and any other harmful chemical facilities away from Hawaii's natural water sources. Two, call on local representatives and elected officials to protect our clean water from any further pollution by the U.S. Navy. And three, follow at Sierra Club HI. So that's S-I-E-R-R-A-C-L-U-B-H-I and join their Red Hill Task Force. Affected residents should contact 808-448-2570 and the Department of Health at SDWB at D-O-H dot Hawaii, H-A-W-A-I-I dot gov, G-O-V.